Okay, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a new video or not, but today is a new day and I am up in a part of town I haven't been to. It was about a 30 minute drive from the city and it was recommended to me from a local. So let's check out this area and see what we find. I'm over here in the kitchen section, just found these two really cool pieces. They're not worth a whole bunch, but they're cool nonetheless. This is a US military mess kit from 1964. So this one's Vietnam era. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the utensils with it. And then this one over here is another US military mess kit, 1945. So this one's World War II era. And again, unfortunately, it doesn't have the utensils with it, but not worth a whole lot, but they're pretty cool. Over here in the men's shoes, just came across a pair of Alakai fishing shoes. These are a pretty decent brand. I find them relatively often, but it's a brand that a bunch of people overlook, so learn it. These are $5.99, half off, it'll be three bucks. These should go right between 30 and 40 bucks. And right around the corner from those Alakais, I spotted these. These are Nike Metcon 4s, the camo ones. Pretty good condition, they are $7.99. Today they'll be $4, and these go for right around 50 bucks. I was going through the men's sweaters and ended up coming across a brand that I just learned recently, Gavin Green. I sold a vest for close to a hundred bucks. This is a Insula Technology, like one fourth zip thermal. And I don't know what it'll go for, but I'm gonna pick it up because it's only $4.99, half off today. Over here in the jackets, ended up pulling an Athleta. It's an okay brand to look for when it comes to sporting wears. Found a quilted jacket. Don't know what it's gonna go for, but gonna be paying four bucks. All right, overall, that store was pretty good. The prices were on point, the quality of goods were on point. We found quite a few things, so I'm really happy with how that stop went. So far, great first stop of the day. We're gonna go hit up the Goodwill that's right down the street, try that one out, and I think there's a Value Village up the street as well, so we got a few more stores to hit. Let's do it. Never mind, we struck out at that Goodwill. Happens sometimes. Stop number three. Value Village. Go check that one out. That is old school. Pretty cool looking. Sanyo C2 tape deck. That's pretty cool. I'm really tempted on that for 10 bucks. If I was back home, I'd buy it. But here, I don't know if I have the room to store it. And I don't know if it works fully. Man, tough decision. We got some Hocus here. Pretty rough shape. Nine bucks. I'm gonna pass on those. Ooh, look at that, some custom Air Force Ones. Look at those. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh. Okay, I'm checking these out, and as I've said many, many, many times, I am not a shoe expert. The only thing that I see that looks a little weird is the stitching on the Jumpman on the back. It just looks kind of off. I don't really know too much, but otherwise, I think they look pretty good. I'm gonna grab them just in case and I'll do a check check on them. I don't know if those are real, but if they are, we just hit lick. Just took another look and we got some all white Jordans as well. Those things are sick. What are these? Oh, I think these are 13s, aren't they? Someone just donate their whole Jordan collection. What? Some more Jordans, some more Jordans, some more Jordans, some more Jordans. 
Jordans, 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 Jordans. See another pair down here. I think these are 12s if I'm not mistaken. And they're the same size. Someone had to have donated their entire collection. All of these are marked up to between 10 and 16 bucks. So I'm gonna have to go through and figure out which ones I wanna grab. I just posted that story on Instagram asking for help on those Jordans, seeing if they were real or not. And everybody's seeing all the ones in the back and telling me to put them all in the cart. If they weren't so expensive between like, most of them are at like 16 bucks. There's a few that are at like 10. Otherwise I would pick them all up. So I'm gonna have to be a little selective. Okay, I think these are the ones that I'm gonna settle on. And these are the ones that I'm leaving. Let me know if I passed up anything decent. Uh, either. You know, whichever one's easier for you. If you want to make it faster, I'll show you the bottoms. I can just throw them right down in there. That'll do it. One, four, nine. Okay, we just left that store, got a whole box of Jordans. What an awesome, awesome score. Value Village, you didn't let me down. Okay, so that was a pretty amazing stop. Got a bunch of pairs of Jordans. I don't even know how many we got, like nine maybe. I spent like 140 bucks or something like that on all of them. So a lot of them were priced up. They were between like 12 and 16 bucks. I did leave a few pairs, but hey, I couldn't get them all. Some of them were beat. Some of them just weren't pricing out and comps very good. But everybody on Instagram was telling me, just snag everything, grab them all, grab them all. But I grabbed the pairs that I felt comfortable with and that's what I walked away with and I am really, really happy with that. But my phone is actually about to die and I need to make it back to Charlotte because I don't know my way around here. So I'm gonna plug that in, let it charge for a little bit, maybe go get some food and then I'll check if there's any more thrift stores close by. If there is, I might hit up one more store. If not, then the video will probably end here. Okay, now it's been a few days since I picked up all of those Jordans and I've had some time to research them, look through them all, and really get a grasp on what I have. So this pair right here, I knew right off the bat, was the best pair that I ended up scoring. These are the 2013 Jordan 1 Chicago's. They're a pretty rare shoe and they go for a pretty penny. So obviously I wanted to make sure these were legit and authentic before I got them up on eBay. You don't want to list inauthentic stuff. It's a good way to get your account suspended. So I went ahead and got these checked out on the Check Check app. If you guys don't know what that is, I did a video on it not too long ago where I verified another pair of sneakers. So I got a ton of pictures of these guys, got a ton of detail shots in there so the people could authenticate them easy as possible. And I got the results back. I'll pop a screenshot up on the screen right now. And they are legit. That's great news because these are gonna sell for the most out of any of those pair of Jordans and if any of the pairs were gonna be faked, I figured they were gonna be this one. However, I was pretty certain that none of them were after seeing that most of the sizes were all the same. They were all between a six and a seven, so I'm guessing they all came from someone's personal collection and they just donated all of their shoes at once. So obviously getting that news back, I was very happy with that. If you guys aren't part of that Check Check app, I highly recommend downloading it. It's a great tool to have in your reseller arsenal. If you guys do download it, use the link in my description and you'll get one free authentication. So if you have a pair of sneakers that you've been meaning to list but you weren't sure if they're legit or not, Use that link, get them checked out. You know, you might be sitting on something that should be up on eBay right now. But anyways, I've started listing all of those pairs on my eBay store. If you guys are interested in any of them, the link will be down in the description or if you just wanna watch the auctions, that's totally cool too. Otherwise, that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and this insane pickup of Jordans. It was definitely one of my better sneaker days I've had in a long time. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more, and leave me a comment of what your favorite pair that I ended up picking up today. Obviously, this is my favorite. But thank you all for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. And until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.